Well, apparently Boeing's new CEO, Kelly Ortberg, is serious about fixing the once greatest aerospace company on Earth. And in a prediction we've been discussing on the channel for a while now, it's being widely reported from sources inside Boeing's management that Boeing is actively looking to sell its Starliner component. Starliner, of course, is the troubled ISS crew vehicle that has not only yet to succeed, but is hemorrhaging cash at a rapid pace. According to the Wall Street Journal, the divestment would include the troubled spacecraft Starliner as well as the divisions that support the ISS. However, the company's giant moon and possibly Mars-going SLS, the Space Launch System, would not be included in the sale. So we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to talk about what happens if Boeing does sell. Who's going to buy it? Next on Maximus. This is Maximus Aviation. So according to the Boeing Insider, Boeing is in talks to sell off its troubled Starliner program as part of a total budget review under new CEO Kelly Ortberg. However, according to the Insider, who requested to remain anonymous because, you know, snitches get stitches. The sale is still at an early stage and no decision about divesting the program have yet been made. However, still it is hard to imagine that Boeing... The company that for decades has worked arm in arm with NASA on the birth of the Apollo program and was integral in the moon landings, as well as the space shuttle program and the ISS, just to name a few, will be contemplating such a drastic move. But considering the deep financial crisis Boeing finds itself in on the heels of one disaster after another, only multiplied now by its ongoing machinist strike, not to mention SpaceX, the company that both Boeing and NASA tried to keep out of the crude space business altogether. SpaceX has basically embarrassed Boeing into this move, as SpaceX has become NASA's new space boss of all bosses. Then yeah, selling off the Starliner is a financial move that makes sense, in an effort to save Boeing's core business model, and that of course, is making aircraft. However, Boeing is expected to keep its U.S. government cash cow commercial and military satellite business, and of course, its position overseeing the SLS space launch system. The SLS is the huge rocket NASA has contracted Boeing to build to launch future lunar and even deep space exploration. The rocket successfully completed its first flight for NASA about two years ago. However, it has pretty much been grounded since due to the same issues that plague both Boeing's aircraft and space division, that being production challenge and quality control issues with the ILS. Ironically, though, a sale would be an inauspicious end to Boeing's space business, especially after way back in 2018 when then Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg said, Boeing would beat SpaceX to Mars. Well, I didn't need you all, did it? Because while NASA and Boeing's huge SLS rocket has flown just one mission, SpaceX has flown its larger, fully reusable Starship system several times. And CEO Elon Musk believes he could launch a mission to Mars in a couple of years far sooner than NASA could with Boeing. In August, Boeing's new CEO said he was weighing asset sales and looking to jettison any problematic programs beyond the core commercial and defense businesses. He said everything is on the table. And last week, on a call with aviation analyst, Ortberg said, we're better off doing less and doing it better than doing more and not doing it well, saying it's all about what we want this company to look like five and ten years from now. And do these things add value to the company or distract us, he said. As the Wall Street Journal article points out, Ortberg fired the head of Boeing's defense and space businesses in September. The space business is a small part of that unit which makes up jet fighters and helicopters for the Pentagon, which had a $3.1 billion loss on $18.5 billion in revenue in the first nine months of 2024. However, more sources have said that before Ortberg joined Boeing as the new CEO, Boeing held discussions with Blue Origin, the space company owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos of Amazon fame, about taking over some of NASA's programs. However, Blue Origin wasn't interested as it has been preparing its own rockets for future NASA and commercial missions and intends to compete head-to-head -head with SpaceX's Elon Musk. Yeah, well, good luck with that. But both the Starliner program and Boeing's work for the ISS face uncertainty about whether the company ultimately sells them, especially since NASA plans to use SpaceX to deorbit the space station around 2030. Plus, add to that NASA's recent announcement that they have grounded Boeing's limping Starliner for the foreseeable future, 
removing it from its 2025 launch schedule in favor of Elon Musk's SpaceX and Crew Dragon. Oh, and let's not forget the first mission for SpaceX will be to rescue the crew Boeing's broke-down Starliner left maroon in space for six months on what was supposed to be a five-day ship certification mission. Okay then, so what's next? If Boeing does indeed unload its Starliner program. Well, to use that often misstated Aristotle quote, if nature abhors a vacuum, then which other aerospace company will jump in and fill the Boeing void? Well, right off the bat, you can cross SpaceX off that list because, well, duh. And scratch Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin off that list pretty much for the same reason. But also, we can't forget about Big Brother NASA in this scenario. After all, NASA is the big cheese on this space pizza, since they are footing the bill, so, you know, they will wield a lot of power on who gets to pick over the bones of Boeing. Okay, so at least in my opinion, that leaves just two options. And I think the remaining two would be either Lockheed Martin or Northrop Grumman. Beginning with Lockheed, Martin, already a legend in military aviation history with such iconic aircraft as the fastest plane in history, the SR-72 Blackbird, the F-16, the F-22, the C-130 and Black Hawk helicopters, just to name a very few. Lockheed has also been NASA's partner for decades. As far as NASA goes, Lockheed Martin is a prime contractor for the Orion spacecraft on NASA's Artemis missions. Lockheed is responsible for the design, development, testing, and production of the Orion spacecraft. Martin also designed Orion's crew capsule. The capsule is the first spacecraft specifically designed for humans to travel on long-duration missions into deep space. It's also the only spacecraft that can carry out crewed flights and return to Earth at high reentry speeds reached when returning from the moon. So you can see how Lockheed would be a good suitor for both NASA and Boeing. Okay, next we have Northrop Grumman. Besides creating some amazing aircraft of their own, such as the B-2 Stealth Bomber, the B-21 Raider, and the Flying Tank Killer, the A-10, just to name a few, Northrop Grumman makes so many air and land and sea vehicles for the U.S. military that there are too many to mention. However, needless to say, its roots are deeply embedded in the United States military industrial complex making them a great candidate to step in and pick over the bones of Boeing's NASA projects. As for Grumman, well, they are involved in several aspects of NASA's Artemis program, including the SLS solid rocket boosters. The SLS, of course, is the project Boeing wants to keep. Grumman manufactures the five-segment twin solid rocket boosters for the SLS space launch system. Northrop Grumman also built the abort motor and attitude control motor for the Orion spacecraft launch abort system. Additionally, they are building the future Habitat and Logistics Outpost, or HALO, for the Lunar Space Station that will be replacing the ISS early in the next decade. But while the ISS is still around, Northrop is also one of two commercial companies, along with SpaceX, that provides cargo resupply services to the ISS. Northrop's Cygnus spacecraft delivers cargo, equipment, and experiments to the ISS, and also removes waste and reboosts the station's orbit. But they also built the James Webb Space Telescope, which is the largest, most complex, and powerful space telescope ever built. Add to that satellites, rockets, and the fact that they too are deeply already tethered to NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense. So Northrop Grumman seems like a good fit as well. And then finally, I guess, of course, there is NASA itself that could take on Boeing's responsibilities. However, these days they are more of a subcontractor than engineers. Pretty much they just contract out all their jobs. But if I had to make a guess as an uneducated YouTube clown, personally, I think they're going to split the baby, and both Northrop and Lockheed will each pick up a share of Boeing's workload. That is, if Boeing sells it, and if either of them can afford it. However, I don't have to think about it too hard and hurt myself because I'm lucky. I have all of you to tell me what you think. So here are the questions. Will Boeing sell? And if they do, will any of the companies I mentioned buy them? Or will somebody else buy them? Or will Boeing just keep it all? Hmm, well, that's a lot of homework, but I know you can do it. However, as you know, I won't know until you let me know down below. And with that, that'll wrap it up for now. So until we meet again, as always, this is Maximus.